Before we start, there's one thing that we should know. When a gutter gets full, it requires a downpipe. So therefore, the flow in the downpipe is the same as the flow in a full gutter. We can always oversize the gutter in relation to the downpipe, and we can always oversize the downpipe in relation to the gutter. This program, and so does the code, calculate the most economical combination of gutter and downpipe. So let's get on with it. We can read the instructions here. We can read instructions further down. There are instructions here and there are videos there. However, who's got the time to read all this at this stage? So let's plough on. Enter the details, first things first. The roof catchment area. Now, if you've got a CAD program, it's easy to work out the area of anything. If you haven't, you might have a, at least a PDF file. So how do you work out the area from a PDF file? <coughs> you can press the info there and um, there's some blurb here or we can watch the video. The video uh, also appears here. How to calculate the area from a PDF. Assuming we've done the area. Okay, now the next thing is the average roof slope in degrees. We can learn about what that means. The if you got a thing like this, that's the average. That's the average slope. If the architect has given us the roof slope in some other format, we can use the conversion calculator here. Or we can use the conversion calculator here. I just used the back button to get to here. So let's say he gave us the roof slope in terms of one in, let's say it's one in 10. As soon as you enter something in there, the other two fields are automatically converted. So this is a roof slope of 5.7 degrees. We must enter the slope always in the term of degrees as you can see here. So let's start entering an area. Let's see our slope is that. Now we come to the next field. A location. So if we click the drop down list we got a whole heap of towns in Australia and New Zealand. We click a town on there and it gives us our intensity for that town. It's 251 for Brisbane. If we clicked uh, another town, it's 91 for Auckland, for instance. What if our town is not in this list? Well, then we use the known intensity from here and we fill out our known intensity. But what if we don't know our known intensity? What if we live in whoop whoop? So then we go to here, how to find the intensity for other places. Or we go to the videos, which tells you how to find the rainfall intensity. Both these things, how to explain to you how to get to the Bureau of Meteorology website for your country. And uh, how to jump through all the hoops to end up with an intensity. Let's say our intensity is this. <clears throat> We're looking for a 1 in 20 year storm for Eve's gutters. And uh, that's the figure we need. Next one, take if the roof slope is steeper than 1 in 500, for example, 1 in 200. Um, we really should have a slope on eaves gutters, but 9 times out of 10, they end up flat or a back slope. So 1 in 500 will give us the worst case. I mean, even if it's late at 1 in 500, with a bit of movement of the building over time, it might end up flat anyway. So, worst case, we won't tick that. Press our calculate. Now we see these fields, the yellow fields are the calculated fields. They're now filled in. The total flow from the roof is that. Now, here's our results. We can use 890s or we can use 6100s or 3150s, etc. Let's say we choose to use 100 diameter downpipes. We click the button here, 
and we press the calculation button there. Now this is the first page of the calculations. Our calculations here are in accordance with the plumbing code and there's references from what table the data came from and what graph etc. And if we scroll down further we see there's a second page. The second page pretty much repeats the possible options of the table and the downpipe and gutter capacities. That's just for our information if we want to come back later and change our mind instead of going through all the hoo-ha again we can look up our file and find this. It's on a second page just in case you don't want to give this to your certifier. Now look at all these boxes here. <clears throat> these are optional. Um, there are some suggestions there of what you should do um, but you can put anything in here you want. That's something I had there from before. Anything you want can go in there. I would suggest, however, you put something in this one. Um, just a means of identification what, this, uh, what these results refer to. At least your job description, maybe a job location, downpipe numbers, roof numbers, whatever you choose. Down here you can sign it. You can put your name. <coughs> You can put your address, what have you. So there's a continue button here. We press continue and this will give you an idea of what the printout is going to look like before we actually do the conversion. So if you've found you've made a mistake, you've put something here you don't want to put, um, something's wrong here, you can go back and make changes. You can't see it on this video, but on the top left-hand corner of your screen, there's a big blue button which has got previous page written on it. Use that button. Otherwise, it'll ask you, do you want to resubmit the form? Press those buttons, and uh, if you want to change anything on these optional fields, you can. You can even go further back to change something here. You want a different downpipe, etc. Now what if you um, did something ludicrous and picked a huge um, downpipe here by mistake, 1300, yes that's fine. Press the calculations, of a note will come up saying there may be a more efficient downpipe. Or read on for the code recommendations. So down here on your printout you'll see that the uh, from the code the recommended downpipe size is, well, interpolated as 217. No such downpipe exists. The uh, next size up would be a 225. So let's go back and see why that happened. You can see a 225, you only need one of those as well, so it's pointless putting in a bigger one. So there's a lot of things like this in the program that if you've made a silly mistake, nine times out of ten a warning will come up and tell you what you've done. Now let's look at the next thing, um, the gutter picker. Strange enough, the manufacturers manufacture um, different gutters in each state of Australia. So select your state and select your manufacturer. There's plenty of other manufacturers, but I've just shown these three as a typical example. This is optional. However, this is what happens, uh, look what's happened. This gutter size is greater than available standard size. So what have we done? We've got a gutter size um, that's this one here with our 300. That's huge. We're back to this one. That's the one we should have had. Queensland Lysart. Let's go again. So we don't want a half round gutter. We don't like the look of that. So these are arranged in um, order of uh, area from smallest to larger, so we can always go larger, we can't go smaller. So we want a square looking gutter, so let's choose that one. The diagram has appeared here in this, and when we press the calculations we notice that the diagram has also appeared here. This time we'll go a bit further, we we'll press the continue, we see the diagram was on there, and let's see what happens when we press convert to a PDF. 
So there's our PDF file. It's exactly as we had before, hopefully. And you can download this from your computer's download button. Um, or another find another way to download it. It's just a standard PDF. This is on a separate page in case you don't want to give it to your client or your certifier. It's only for your records. Now we go back. It also says alternatively use the browser's print function. Right click or Alt F will usually bring up your print thing. I'll try a right click. Look, there it says print. The same thing, you can't see the full screen here, but um, it gives you the option to change borders and change sizes and all that sort of thing if you want to go this way. And you can print to a PDF, you don't have to print to a printer. So let's go back, all the way back. In the next video, I'll show you how to use these extra features like the more downpipes and working back the other way.